Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how we can do this simple little trick under 10 minutes. To create the effect that we saw in the preview, there are two possible ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way that I did it, and I'm going to show you the way that it could also be done. So I've got the footage already on the timeline, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to track my fingers first. So I'm going to do track motion, which opens up my window. So what I'm going to do now is just go along the timeline to see exactly where the clip or where I want it to start tracking. I don't need to track the entire clip. So I think about here, so I'm going to do point in. I'm going to grab the pointer or basically the tracking object, and I'm going to track my finger, and that's all I'm going to do. And I want this box here, which is exactly where I'm, we saw the word grips. And I'm just going to place it slightly above the finger. So all I need to do now is track my hand. So I'm going to start processing the tracking. And it does a very good job in tracking my hand. Now, obviously, I'm going to start flicking away. And I'm going to allow, allow a bit of a spillover. So I'm going to go back now in time to exactly where I think he's going to flick it away. So it's about here, and then it, I probably need another three or four seconds to create the illusion that it's going to fly off screen. So I'm going to go a little bit further. And just before I start moving my hand down, I'm going to do the time out. So this is the track point back out. All right, so I've allowed myself to give myself three or four seconds to create the illusion that it's going to go off screen. And then I'm going to press OK, and it's going to place a placeholder, huh, appropriately named. Now, I Today, should have a perfect track. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how we can do this simple that. little trick. And then, boop. All right, so I've allowed myself to flick that thing right off. So the next thing I want to do is then create the, the, the word grips. And I'm going to use Title 3D Editor. Now, you can track anything you want, but I've actually had people ask me, how do I track or how do I get my 3D text or any text to follow whatever I'm trying to create. And I'm, this is how we're gonna do this. So first thing off, I'm gonna change it to something called grips. Why not? There you go. Now I like to change the texture like I did in the preview. So I'm gonna to go to texture and I'm gonna use one of my own own textures and which was basically a strawberry wallpaper. And I've created the word grips and strawberry. Now, this is all I need to do in here. I'm only just creating that word. So I'm going to press OK. I don't need to do anything. You can make it do whatever you want. But for me, this is all I'm doing. I'm going to go now. What I'm going to show you, what I, how I'm going to do this. I'm going to place the title track underneath the clip and stretch it out to the exact same length as the placeholder to here. And then what I'm going to do now is going to, I'm going to steal the motion tracking because when it's in your overlay it's not a motion tracking uh, it's not yeah it's not motion tracking. it becomes match motion so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna right click it I'm gonna copy the attribute of that clip right click on this one and then I'm gonna paste all the attributes onto my title and I don't need this clip anymore so I'm just gonna just blot it out and I'm just gonna move this up slightly if it does it there you go so now what it's going to do is going to track the word grips, but you'll notice you can barely see it. And that's because you're using motion tracking. So let's highlight the clip. Let's go into motion tracking now. So the first thing I need to do is increase the size of the name grips. So I'm going to, that's exactly what I'm going to do to the point where I think it's quite impressive. Whoa, look at the size of that. And then I'm going to right right click on the first keyframe and I'm going to do copy and paste to all right and I'm going to press OK so you can quickly see can do what we've done in today's video I'm going to teach you how we can do this simple little trick there you go how simple is that now all I have to do is create a little effect at the end so let's do that match motion again so let's go to the point where I can see myself that it's you know pretending to flick the name away and it's about here. So I'm going to create the keyframe. So it's going to basically copy all the information of this keyframe to this keyframe. So, And now it's just a matter of making sure that I can then flick this one completely off. 
I'm gonna show you the quick and easiest way to do this. It's not the perfect way, because if you really want to be professional about it, you go along the timeline, you start adding keyframes in. But for the sake of tutorial, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this right off. And I think that should be okay. Let's have a little preview. I may see a bit of a dip, but let's have a look. Me, in today's video, I'm gonna teach Very you simple. how we can do this simple little trick. And then flick, there you go. So as you can and see, it kind of went down an angle and you can play with that. And then all I realistically did, I just add the little sound effect, like a swoosh sound effect, just to give that more realism, I guess. So that I'm probably about here. Sound effects makes it really fun and makes it more convincing to the audience. How we can do this simple little trick. Um, clearly, I'm completely off time, but you get you, you get the idea. We can do this simple little trick. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I made it look so easy, but yet I, it's, it does take a bit of time to get this lined up. If I really wanted to be accurate about it, I can go to the WAV format, look where... Look where everything starts. So there it is. So how we can do this simple here little we go. Tr tr See, it's a little bit early. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a chapter point. So just see, and now I know exactly where to place the sound effect. That should be right about here. Hopefully, this should be good. Simple little trick. <laughs> there you go. So that's that's method one, and I'm going to now show you a quick method two. The second method is actually quite easy to do, and we're going to do everything in-house. So the first thing I want to do, I want to create a still image, a, a simple background. Now, you can use video, whatever it is, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a still image, and I'm going to create my own. I'm going to go into Paint Creator. I'm going to basically make it so that I don't see myself. I'm going to zoom out slightly, and then I'm going to create a basic shape, like a square. So basic shapes, square, and I'm going to change the, the size of this as big as I can so it takes over the complete canvas. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a very unique texture, like a checkered plate. So I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to click it. Now, this is going to give me the texture options, and I'm going to look for something like the checkered plate. Okay, this one's here is fine. I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to double-click it one, two the reason why i do this is if you click it once it is a painting tool so it has a slight transparency to it by double clicking or even triple clicking i make sure that i it is no longer transparent so i'm happy with that i'm going to take a snapshot of that and it's automatically going to import that to my library and here it is here all i need to do now is place it into the placeholders to do that click hold make it go over the clip and then hold down the control key and then release so now as you can see my finger is tracking little how we do how we pull the check all i want to do now is put my name in there all right so i'm going to be using the mask creator oh you know what i did i got to highlight it <laughs> and then use the mask creator and i look i thought i was so professional but apparently i'm not okay so all we want to do is use the text tool, so text tool, double click, and I'm going to write the word grips. There you go. That is one cool name. In the center, I'm going to keep the mask, not invert the mask, but I keep the mask, and I'm going to press OK. Now look what happens. I have changed the name grips, and just like the other one, I have to then match motion it and then increase the size. Like, let's make it really big just to be obnoxious. <laughs> well, that's what my wife calls me. So here we go. So now it's super massive. Simple. I'm gonna see what it does. Today's video, I'm going to teach you how we can do this simple little trick. Voila. There you go. So there, that's how it is. Now, I can show you a little bit what I did to, uh, to, enhance, to enhance the clip. I'm going to use the FX filter, and I'm going to look for the shadow. All right, drop shadow, and I added that. Oh, look at that. That just makes it look so much nicer. So there you go, my friends. There's two methods how you can then track your text anywhere on your video studio, whether it's a 3D title or the way I've just done it with the mask creator. And that just goes to show you how powerful video studio actually can be. And I think quite often we underestimate what it's capable of. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'll just leave it there. And as always, thanks for watching.